What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to translate your plugins and your WordPress theme. Now this was requested by Ileana, a uh, subscriber, so um, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So the first thing that we need to do is head over to your dashboard and then go to your plugins and then click on add new and then go ahead and just type in local, local, just like that. And you're going to see a plugin called local translate. So go ahead and click install and then activate it. Now the plugin that we're going to be translating is this plugin here. It's called login slash sign up pop-up. And what that plugin allows you to do, it pretty much just gives you a nice looking pop-up for a login and to register. So I'm going to be translating this portion right here where it says login and sign up. This other portion can already be translated within the plugin, but Ileana was having issues translating the login and the sign up here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that and also how to translate your um, theme as well. So the first thing that we need to do is go to local translate, go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and see a list of themes and plugins that we can translate. So I'm going to go ahead and translate the login sign up pop up. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to add a new language here. So click on new language and then I'm going to choose my language. But before I choose my, your language, um, you have to make sure that your plug that your uh, WordPress website is already set up with that specific language. So, for example, if I were to choose um, Spanish Mexico, my uh, uh, in my in my WordPress settings here in my general, it would have to be set to Spanish as well, Spanish Mexico. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this to Espanol de de, Me de Mexico, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Save Changes. Now I'm gonna go back to Local Translate, and then I'm gonna go to my my plugin that I was translating here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, click on new language and then I'm going to go ahead and choose my language here and that is um, Espanol Mexico and then I'm going to make sure that we have it set to custom I know this one probably says something else but you want to always have it set to this one right here which is a custom one and then we're just going to go ahead and click save and then now we're going to be able to just uh, start translating so the cool part about this plugin is you're able to search for certain words that you want to translate so I'm going to go ahead and click on login here and I want to go ahead and translate this login right here um, and I'm going to go ahead and search for login and then we're going to go ahead and see login so as you can tell that this is how it's set up on the website already and this is the translate that we can add so I'm going to go ahead and just go to Google Translate and I'm going to type in login and I'm going to make sure that this is set to Spanish and then I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here which is Iniciar Sesión. And then I'm going to go ahead and just paste it in here and this is what I want it to translate to. So then I'm going to go ahead and click Save here. And then I'm going to go and refresh this. And if we click Login, you're going to notice that now this has changed. Now we're going to go ahead and also do the Sign Up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Sign Up. And now it's going to be most likely this one here. But if it's not, we can of course uh, switch it to a different one. So I'm going to go ahead and type in sign up here and I'm going to get that translated and this is just um, to register it and then we're just going to type in our translation in here copy and paste it and then we're going to go ahead and save this. Now we're going to go back and we're going to refresh this page and we're going to go, go ahead and see if it translated and it did so that's perfect. Now if we did want to translate the wording here of course you can do that um, you can actually do that just by going to appearance and then going to menus here and you can actually just translate it within um, within this menu. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but just to show you guys that you guys can actually translate that as well. And then um, within this plugin, you can also translate the, the fields as well. Some of the fields, um, you can actually label them and just translate them. So I'm not really going to go through um, translating some of these other fields here because you can actually do that within um, within the plugin. So now from here, I'm going to actually show you guys how to translate your theme. So I'm going to go back to my uh, website here and then I'm going to go ahead and customize this. Now you will see that this menu here 
is set to English. Now I want to translate some of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and translate the header here. So I'm actually going to I'm going to open up another tab here. So I'm going to just open up another tab. And then I'm going to go to my website here and then I'm going to go to local translate and then I'm going to go to my cadence theme here and then I'm going to add a new language here and I'm going to go ahead and choose um, my language here, which is Espanol de Mexico. And make sure that it's it set to customize and then I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then now I'm going to go ahead and search for um, pretty much what I want to translate, which is going to be our header. Let's start off with our header. So let's just do our header for now. Now you will see that there are quite a bit of uh, headers here, but I'm sure it's going to be this one here. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and just type in header. Um, and let's go ahead and just use this. This probably might not be the right translation for it, but um, just bear with me. That's what I'm going to use there. Um, and then I'm just going to click save. And then now if I were to, uh, uh, if I were to refresh this, we would notice that it will also translate as well. And we can do the same thing with footer as well. So let's go ahead and type in footer. And then it's gonna be most likely that one there. And we're gonna go ahead and just type in footer here in our translator. Now I'm sure you guys probably already know the translation for that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just paste it in here, save it. And then I'm gonna refresh this. And then there we go. So now that's translated. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did get the gist of it. Um, if you guys did need any further help, just go ahead and comment down below and I'll definitely help you guys out. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. It will definitely help out the channel out a lot and you won't miss out on any of my videos. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.